This is a sea urchin. This, however, is not a sea urchin. We're watching this spiky black ball grow under a light microscope. It's made of carbohydrates, which are chains of sugar molecules, and they're self-assembling into individual needle-shaped structures before our eyes. Although carbohydrates are abundant in nature, they're hard to study because of naturally occurring variations in their structures. Now, researchers have synthesized small carbohydrates with well-defined structures that can form a variety of nano-sized systems. These nanostructures resemble those made by peptides used in drug delivery and tissue engineering. Peter Seberger presented the work at the American Chemical Society's 2019 Spring National Meeting in Orlando, Florida. He says that it was previously unknown that carbohydrates can self-assemble the same way that peptides can. The investigation started when Martina Del Bianco, a group leader in Seberger's department, encountered a problem while working with carbohydrates she had synthesized. So I was trying to like react them and uh, do something with this compound, but uh, I found that reactivity that was uh, not very good, and in some cases completely no reactivity, and uh, I couldn't explain this because uh, it should have been very simple reactions. She noticed that the compound was forming some sort of precipitate. To figure out what was going on, the researchers dissolved a simple carbohydrate, this two-sugar disaccharide, in an organic solvent and added droplets of the solution to water. They watched as the disaccharide molecules began to diffuse out of the solvent droplet and into the surrounding water, where they came together to form spiky structures. What they do is they start aligning. And what you see, like hairs sticking out from a sea urchin, these little spikes are actually fibers of carbohydrate forming. So we are very excited about this result because that, to our knowledge, is the first time that somebody can show that these fibrils can actually be made by carbohydrates. It's a discovery that Keith Stein, a carbohydrate chemist at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, sees as opening up a new field of study. Importantly, the team found that differences in carbohydrate structure and preparation methods result in different nanostructures. Researchers are working to understand what forces bring these fibrils together, and understanding the forces could help chemists control them to produce tunable carbohydrate materials. They could come from hydrogels, they could become implants. The number of possibilities is, is endless. But again, it's important to realize that at the very beginning now, this is a cool, fundamental result. And based on that, now people can become creative, use different types of sugars, use different types of solvents, and then see all sorts of things happening.